All right, guys. It's actually the next day. We dropped Bella off yesterday. I got my hoodie and going to pick up. I guess if you saw the thumbnail, it might be why you clicked on this, but I'm going to pick up my first brand new RV. Um, we owned one years ago. It was probably 15 years old. I bought it cheap. I only had it like a month and I got rid of it because back then I didn't have the time to use it. These days I have more time. So I'm going to take that thing and get in the garage there and get the weight distribution hitch that I already have. And we're going to go down to the dealership, which is only five miles down the road from my house and get this thing picked up. So, um, for those of you that watch the channel regularly, the dude's not happy that he can't go, but I don't want to leave him in the truck for, you know, who knows how long, an hour probably at least while we go through the delivery process. So anyway, let's get her done. All right, got the weight distribution bars in there. This is all stuff that basically is going to go into the camper that I have or and or goes with the truck. The receiver's already in here because I have a car trailer that I had originally bought this for when I just had the half ton. So we got a one o'clock appointment to get it picked up. So get headed down the road here. All right, guys, as you can see, we made it. Uh, we're at Stars Trailer Sales, Brockway. Uh, as you can see, the lot's pretty empty. Um, these ones back here, they're pre-sold. Everything he's got outside of fifth wheels is pre-sold, and we didn't really want a fifth wheel. We wanted to start something small, so um, you'll see what we got here, but uh, I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, a little backstory. Mrs. Truck and Life has never really wanted to do the RV camping thing too much. Um, but with the recent trip to North Carolina to visit my dad, which ended up being the day before he passed away, um, we went to see the Biltmore Estate. And she told me on the ride back that that really made her realize how much is out there, able to be seen. There's a major highway behind me, so going to be lots of traffic. But uh, uh, And if you don't watch my channel, I got blue let blue light lens on my glasses so you're you're seeing the blue light being reflected off of them but anyway um she said she wants to get out and and travel and see some more things and uh, my oldest brother has a, a travel trailer which is a lot like that one right there let's see it back here there you go it's a lot like that um so we're gonna do some traveling with them and uh we've got a couple trips started planning uh right now in the initial phases of planning and uh i think i'm going to try and take it out maybe this weekend because i'm going to be here uh as you saw we dropped bell off at uh, my big truck uh semi truck which if you've never watched my channel check out some of my other videos you'll see the the stuff i content i normally do is me driving the truck but I figured this might be something to share we're we're you know rv newbies so i've um, been watching a lot of people keep your daydream um less junk more journey 
And I found a new one I was watching. Um, something with Journey in it too, but uh, our Less Than Perfect Journey, I think is the name of it. So I've been watching a lot of their stuff and the RV newbie stuff, because I'll be the first one to tell you. I've pulled my brothers with this truck. One time I brought it over here for service for them because uh, they just sold their old one. And uh, I pulled one with, I had an 03 Chevy that I pulled, uh, the older one that I was telling you that we had. Um, we took it out twice in like a month and I, and I just got on a sale kick and I, I sold a lot of things and it was one of the things that I sold. So this is our first brand new one. This is the first one we'll actually be going camping at all with. The other one we just basically parked and slept in it and then left. So, um, I, you know, share the process and the goings on with it. And we have this 2021 Dodge Ram that we're going to be pulling it with, with the Cummins in it. So, uh, I really, when I bought this truck not long ago, I really wanted a Ford or a Chevy mainly because of the 10-speed transmission. But I've come to like this truck a lot. I wish it had a 10-speed just because, again, being a truck driver, I know more gears is always better. And this thing runs pretty high RPMs. You get about 70, 75 miles an hour. It's running up upwards of right at 18, 1900 RPMs and uh, could probably have a taller gear in it if we had a 10-speed. But it is what it is. This one will do all right for a few years and uh, i might keep it i really love the truck the only thing i don't like about it is that right there um that's me sitting fully straight up i'm 6'3 and the button of my hat the seat doesn't doesn't go down far enough the electric part of it doesn't but anyway another video so i'm gonna go in here talk to scott the one and only salesman from a small town happened to have a dealership here in town and that's why i wanted to deal with them um i had another one bought recently about two hours from our house um for whatever reason it just wasn't sitting well with me i couldn't i don't know why not usually i'm kind of an impulse buyer but uh, it just wasn't sitting with me so i canceled the delivery on that and if they're watching this video because i told them i had a youtube channel and we talked about it some stuff but uh if you're watching i apologize but uh, i don't know why it just wasn't sitting well with me at the time and i feel pretty confident in this one now and i don't know i don't know why i don't know why all that was going on but it's not very often that i have those feelings so and i've really never backed out on buying anything once I've talked to a salesman and stuff, I feel like they put in the effort and uh, my wife is usually not, not happy about the fact that I am that way. But anyway, uh, I've been rambling for five minutes, so we're going to go in here and talk to Scott. Uh, I don't know how much of it I will film in there, the delivery process and stuff, so um, we may catch up at the house after I get it hooked up and back to the house. But if they're okay with me recording some of it, I'll record some of it. Uh, or I'll put it in the video. I'm probably going to record all of it because I'm by myself. Mrs. Struck and Life had to work today, so uh, which was not expected when we planned this. Her schedule changed because of our trip to North Carolina. So anyway, let's go get her picked up. All right, guys. As you can see, we got her picked up. Um, I'm going to jump out here and do a quick walk around. It's still raining, so it's kind of a crappy day. Maybe I'll do a... a a full walk around in a later video or something if you guys are interested in the content uh like i said not typical for my channel so the people who watch my channel regularly might not might not be interested but um <laughs> we are at the house as you can see and it takes up the whole parking area so that's pretty much the front and i don't know if you'll be able to see i can't see because i'm using the front camera but it's uh it's off the road, but barely. So, um, got a little bit of room. I did go with the backup camera. I think this is a temporary location for it, but uh, I wanted to get it thrown up there. And I had it up here originally, and it was in my view, but I'd like to find a way. Maybe it'll suction cup right here, which my truck needs cleaned. I've been waiting for some good weather, so don't beat me up too bad in the comments for the dusty truck. But anyway, um, Maybe we can stick it here. I don't know. It'll probably still be in my line of sight. But I guess more to uh, come in the upcoming content, I guess. I'll jump out here quick. 
tell you what the model is, which it's a, <laughs> uh, I got the paperwork here. So we'll go out the paperwork. How about that? It is a 2021 Aspen Trail. It's made by Dutchman. Aspen Trail 2760 THS, which the THS, of course, is the toy hauler. So, um, titanium decor. Uh, big, got all the keys and stuff in it, but uh, I'll give you a view from the outside, maybe a quick walk around, and we'll save the inside maybe for a video later this week or something. But um yeah so we're we're rv owners um uh, drop a comment tell me what you think i've already been doing a lot of research um they gave me a hose uh for a sewer hose and a couple of adapters and i don't know if i'm going to buy some of the stuff that people suggest also i'm sure i will eventually but i don't know if that's going to be right away um it also um, since I'm sitting here in the truck and it's dry, it has one AC unit and it's in the toy hauler part of it. So I, it has a vent in the bedroom and we're planning, I, I'm planning a trip. Um, uh, Mrs. Truck and Life's probably going to be working then, but my brother and sister-in-law are going to Florida and then I'm going to meet them in Myrtle Beach in July. Uh, so it being hot. I already ordered the second AC unit for in the bedroom. So, and keep in mind, this is our first RV really that we're going to spend any time in. So we wanted to go cost effective. I don't want to say cheap, but cost effective. Um, and this unit, we got really great deal on it. It's the very last one that he had. I actually had in mind a different unit that was not a toy hauler. Uh, there's the neighbor getting home, so I'm going to probably get out and show her the inside. But um, everything's on back order. It's just like Bellas parts and stuff. Everything's on back order. So uh, they haven't been able to get units finished. Certain units aren't even getting built right now. So it, it's a whole thing. So this is our starter unit. Um, like it doesn't have electric jacks. It's wired for electric jacks. doesn't have electric jacks. And I don't really want to spend the money on electric jacks. I kind of like the idea of cranking them down. So um, we're not going to put them on right away anyway. So uh, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let me jump out, give you a walk around of this. Uh, I'm going to shut the truck off and the lights off and stuff so that stuff won't be on. But uh, I'll give you a quick walk around. You can see what it looks like hooked to Jolene and drop a comment tell me what you think if you like if you're a regular watcher of the channel you like the content and would like to see more like us going camping and stuff if not I, I really don't know how I'm going to handle it because this channel is already established and I don't really want to start a new channel but I hope those of you who like watching it will like this content also and watching me be a jackass because this is one area I will tell you I really don't know anything about my brother's pretty pretty adept at doing it they've traveled a lot with their camper but uh and um again keep in mind this is our entry level uh this is our first one so don't beat me up too bad over what i bought if you if you don't approve but anyway jump out do a walk around and we'll end this video there well i'm getting a phone call all right here it is our new aspen trail it does sit pretty high, pretty high, and uh, the driveway kind of leans this way some, but uh, I just went ahead and bought a new weight distribution hitch today for it, and uh, as you can see, it's got the, the truck pulled down just a little bit, but um, just to open this door here real quick. I got stuff in my hand. I got a backup camera with it and stuff, and well, they got it locked. So, locked for for moving it but uh see if i can get back far enough there you go so there it is it's got the the ramp door and uh you can see the camera up there and it is like i said the 2760 t ths and that will be our home away from home
So, uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, traffic going by. So there it is. Uh, the dude's inside going nuts, so I'm going to get in, let him out. And uh, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up, drop me a comment, tell me what you think, and keep a shiny side up, safe travels. We'll see you in the next one.